want to go ahead and apply the latest hotfix and this one is the latest hotfix uh, released from Microsoft and I'll just go ahead and extract the files and as you can see there's uh, files for multiple uh, components in here before you can update you need to stop services and think the that one so let's go ahead and stop all the services in here first so we're sure we don't have any problems with log files and um, I can see in here I have my application server started so I go ahead and stop that one and if I go down and look I also have my uh, service tiers started down here so I'm going to stop uh, both of those ones in here also so um, I now have uh, and if I had a web service running I would also have to stop this one but it, it wasn't running in this one so now I want to go update my uh, application servers and other components in here so let's open up another um, folder in here so and uh, the first thing is to update the application server and I'll go here in the application server folder and to update you simply need to copy all these files and replace the one that is in the folder right now so you paste these ones and uh, I need to give uh, administrator privileges and that's fine so I replace that one in my application server next thing is my classic client and that's a classic client in here again I just need to copy all those files and actually paste them in here and I want to do that for all ten of them in here and uh, do it as administrator so now I replaced all this one if you have multiple clients and multiple computers you need to go do this one on every computer for the classic client in here to update that one so that was a classic client the database uh, there's no updates for that one in here so I don't need to do anything same about documentation out but Rotel client there's updates for that one also so and that's called RTC in here again same principle copy all the files Oops. paste them and say you want to do that for all 18 and continue in here so now I replace all those files also again if you have Rotel client applied on different computers you need to go do this one on every computer the services I have two services in here and that's called uh, the nav server in here and I need to copy those ones again and paste them in here so I want to do that for all 12 and say continue in here and I actually have two service tiers in here so I actually need to do it in both of them again uh, if you have multiple service tiers and multiple computers you need to do this one consistently on all of them uh, it's not a good idea to mix and match it's possible to do a little if the versions are not too different but with the number of updates for Microsoft it's uh, a lot um, of changes if you don't run uh, the same version in here so if I now go launch my service tier again down here service tier starts and when I now connect with the rotor client you see I get an error that the database is not current and I have to upgrade it the upgrade is a technical uh, piece and you can only do that one from the classic client actually so uh, I have to stop these ones again and then launch the classic client see now it's coming and confirming that I want to upgrade uh, to the next version of the database and I want to do that this one is from R2 to the latest hotfix you actually have a uh, changed uh, in the uh, database in here so the database was successfully upgraded and the classic client now works against the new database the issue is the C sharp code that is in here is actually not right because the C sharp code that is stored in the object metadata needs to actually match the current version of the service tier and rotor client also so I will have to go in here and actually compile uh, all objects in here and this one is quite time consuming so remember to do it on a computer that has a very good connection uh, uh, to the server actually in here another option is to actually make this one run faster because uh, if I look at my options down here I have a pretty low object cache compared to 
all the amount of objects in here. You can actually speed this up if you actually increase the object cache. So I will do 128 megabytes in here. And to make that apply, I will actually have to close my database and then open it again. If you don't open and close the database, your object cache will actually not work and you can verify that you have the right amount in database information. So now I have uh, that one. And I can go and say I don't want to compile forms, but they don't really take so long. So I'll go and compile all objects in here. All the objects finished compiling now, so the new C-sharp code has been uh, created for the Rotel client to actually launch. So if we will now go start the service tiers. I can see the Rotel client should now be able to connect. And if I wanted to verify my version in here, I can look at about Microsoft Dynamics. And in here, you actually have the build number. Uh, and that's 33,078. I can verify the build number in my classic client also in here. So I can see all that one. If I want to verify the other components in here, uh, I can go in and right click on this one and look at properties. And if I look at details, um, I think uh, like this one. If I look at details in here, I'll see the build number on the individual files. So I can do that on all the files, or also including the application server in here, where I can go in and say the NAS SQL that I'm actually using in here. I can look at the details and see the build number and verify everything is correct. Of course, that could also have been done with the classic client and the rotor client files the same way, actually. But that's conclude how to actually upgrade uh, to the latest version of um, the rotor client or of the NAV installation in here. I want to show a place where you actually can follow that one. And there exists this uh, block on MSDN from uh, the NAV people. Uh, and uh, if you search for hotfix release for uh, something like that one up here, you actually find this one in here. And then depending if you want to find it in customer source or partner source, you can actually see the list of all these hotfixes in here. And uh, let me just go look at it here for partner source in here. It's quite a long list, well, way more than you expect. So you can see in January alone, there actually was one, two, three, four different versions. And it's like the same, so there's a very long list of fixes in here. So you should really try to upgrade to the most current version uh, a lot of times.